welcome. Hello and welcome back to Old Things Gumball. This is what my hair looks like after I take a shower. Got a lot of hair, I know that much. Not, not uh, questioning good fortune. My one of my favorite models is don't question good fortune. Uh, what I wanted to share with you is in a in the previous video I was talking about how in Mexican restaurants the gumball machines will be used very rapidly very quickly and you're gonna have to go check those vending machines a lot so be glad for that you'll make a lot of money you'll go there a lot you'll get to know the people very well uh, and the, the reason I think that is is because um, the Hispanic people the Mexican people what they like to do is go eat dinner go eat lunch and uh, their kids are probably getting irritated when the when the families are talking for hours and they the parents give the kids a couple quarters go get some candy you know leave me alone um, the interesting thing is when you find a, a business that has a lot of Mexican people you may not find that they use the machines as frequently uh, and I talked to somebody about that and I asked why is that that the Mexican people don't use the vending machines as frequently in a business and he was saying well the Mexican people um, they're frugal they're you know they like to save their money and uh, they bring their snacks they bring their lunches so you may not find as much of a usage in the uh, vending machines in a business um, behind me you'll see let me turn this a little bit behind me you will see a board that I'm working on it has all my locations and these are the times that I've gone out and uh, service the machines and once I service the machine for the day I'll just take one of these magnets off and just move it in its rightful place. I wanted to share with you an idea that a friend of mine told me. Uh, he said, all ideas are like a fish. Let me repeat that. All ideas are like a fish. Imagine yourself in a boat and uh, you're going upstream and you're dragging a net through the water and uh, after an hour or half an hour you pull the net into the boat and you've got uh, lots of different fish. You've got colored fish and gray fish and you know all kinds of fish. You've got small fish and, and once you become a fisherman you learn that certain fish have certain value. Um, it can be very tasty and you know that when you sell it at market it gets a you know large amount of money. Okay, Some fish are bitter, you don't want to eat them. They're small, you can't eat them and so you throw them back, you know, throw them back in the river. Um, but do you get angry at the fish? Do you get angry at this little bitty fish that you can't eat because it's bitter or it's small? You know, even if it's a big fish and it's bitter or poisonous, you don't get angry at it. You just throw it back. So all ideas are like that. You know, you don't have to become angry that somebody has an idea that opposes you or opposes your ideas. Just throw it back. Uh, and the interesting is a fish, let's say you have a little small fish that's a delicious trout or something, a bass, a trout or whatever, and it's very small so you know you're not going to get market, you know, you're not, you might sell it for 25 cents, you know, what's the value of it? So you throw it back and maybe in a year you catch that same fish and now it's bigger and more delicious and you could sell it at market and make a little more money. Um, which means that an idea might come back to you an hour, you know, a year later, and now it's something that is palatable, and it's something that is something that you can enjoy, and something that you can uh, benefit from. Anyway, that's the thought of the day. I just thought I'd share that with you, and uh, have a good day. Please hang up and try again.